Hey Arxops, Silhouette here, this time in the flesh. Over the last month or so, I've been very fortunate to be able to find a number of rare Rappy plushies and other PSO2 merch, as you can see behind me. And I've had it imported over stateside. Each time I have shared photos with my good friends and Alliance members, as well as social media, and I've received almost every single time the very same response and question. I love them. I need one. How do I get it? And don't worry, you're not at fault for it. These plushies, especially this chonky boy right here, this huge Rappy plush, are tough to find sometimes. And you have to realize that some of these items were sold in local stores, others were giveaway items, some were lucky prizes, and almost all of them were limited time productions from years ago, like this one, I believe, was from Thanksgiving of 2019. Because of this, you're not going to be able to just get these items from Sega directly unless they choose to re-enter production with them. And even then, they still have to utilize a storefront that serves customers outside of Japan. So that means you'll need to get creative and learn where and when to look in order to find and secure these items. For the record, the methods that I use can be used to grab a lot of JP only merchandise, not just PSO2 specific items, but I'm going to be focusing on the latter and specifically these plushies. So while I'll provide the searches I've used to keep track of and locate these, you'll have to learn a bit of Japanese and input your own keywords for other items. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, Please consider liking this video and subscribing if any of this is any use to you and dropping a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and it really helps and I greatly appreciate it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is step one and that's obvious. You need to locate the product. For that, you're going to need to look at a number of secondhand storefronts. All of them are essentially eBay or some variation on that kind of site. The ones in particular that I like to use are Mercari and Rakuten. These are native JP sites, and sometimes they support shipping to outside of Japan, but usually it's a lot easier and safer to use a middleman approach. If you want to search on these sites for, say, Rappy plushies, you can do so with the links I have in the description below. Basically, we're searching for the keyword Rappy Nuigurumi, which essentially means Rappy plush toy, and I hope I didn't butcher that too badly. If you don't find anything when checking sites like Mercari or Rakuten, uh, which, as you can see, for the most part, there's not a whole lot of active sales going on. Uh, don't lose heart, uh, whether it's because of scalping or because people knowing that collectors would come looking later and stockpiling. Every now and then, more entries will pop up. For example, if you're looking here on my screen, uh, this one and this one, both of these are from just the last month or so. Um, in fact, I think one of these is mine. I think I bought this one right here. Um, in any case... That said, depending on the kind of plushie, they can end up exiting the storefront very quickly. Uh, Rappies in particular are very desired, and they tend to rank in terms of expense and desirability from the sleeping Rappy to the pink love Rappy that's about 11 inches, 30 centimeters, uh, to the yellow uh, sitting Rappy, which is similar to the pink Rappy, it's about 11 inches and 30 centimeters as well to the very huge chonk rappy that is about 15.7 inches or 40 centimeters basically if you see one of these big guys you need to jump on it immediately uh get it now keep in mind that the japanese yen is roughly 1 100th the value of the u.s dollar so if something says it is about 12,800 yen like this, that's that's basically it's about one hundred twenty eight dollars. That doesn't include shipping or any other fees that purchases might incur. You need to be aware of that. So a uh, hundred dollar purchase in, in Japan on Rakuten or Mercari is going to end up being much more expensive than that. Just be aware of that when you go through it. You can also try your luck on eBay. Uh, JP residents often sell collector's items for PSO2 and many other things in English over here. So you can just search Rappy Plush, simple as that. As you see, I've got it up here and see if you get some hits. And we have, as you can see, there's an 11 inch Rappy right there. Get it, get it, get it. Sleeping Rappies, the Rappy Plush purse from the merch giveaway currently going on over at uh, Twitter right now, as well as some love Rappies and the other plush purses. There's a lot of things over here. It's really great. There is actually quite a lot of PSO2 memorabilia here, so take a look and see what you're interested in. Like before, plushies, especially as you go up that rappy ladder of hierarchy, I guess, tend to be very desirable, and I hope I'm not putting you all against each other here. 
but it is probably going to be even more so after this video goes out. So if you find one, be quick and be decisive. Once you've found the item you want, there's a divergent path depending on how you want to purchase it and who you're purchasing it from. If you're purchasing from Mercari, the sales there oftentimes are eligible for inter international purchase directly via Baiyi. I've never personally used this method, but it is available to you if you want to give it a try. Personally, I tend to use the services of a middleman company, in my case, White Rabbit Express, for both Mercari and Rakuten purchases. The way White Rabbit works is you provide them the name of the product, the link to where they can purchase it, the funds needed to purchase it, and a fee for their service. For example, I'm going to add this item to my cart. You can see they charge it a tiny little service fee, but it's nothing that crazy. Anyways, after you do all that, they're going to actually go out and purchase the item personally. I prefer this method because sometimes Mercari sales are very restricted to JP residents only, and they'll sometimes have specific instructions to ensure that you are a JP resident or any other number of hurdles. So if you fail to acknowledge or handle those requests or instructions correctly, it can lead to you not securing the item. White Rabbit Express sends personnel to secure the items individually, so from my experience, they very expertly handle these kinds of situations. They also will hold the items for you for up to 60 days and consolidate packages you order if you happen to order them separately. I basically find they're very much worth their fee. Once they purchase the item, it'll be shipped to the White Rabbit warehouse and they'll contact you, usually sending you an email or something like that, and they'll give you basically what is the item shipping costs. In White Rabbit, it'll be over here in your mailbox. Um, I obviously don't have anything because I haven't ordered anything recently, uh, but I have previous orders, and that's, this is where it pops up. And you'll just come in here, and you'll, you'll check it out and pay that fee. Don't worry, they are not double-charging you. Um, shipping stuff out of the country in large boxes is actually pretty expensive. Uh, international shipping with expedited shipping is just that expensive unfortunately like i said they will hold it for you for 60 days so just pay when you can give them your address they offer expedited shipping like i mentioned usually you'll see the object between three and five days circumstances depending i don't know if we have another evergreen uh, disaster and they decide to have these things shipped by boat you might not see them for a little while but they usually get here very quickly that said, if you are purchasing from eBay, all of these costs are usually wrapped into the purchase itself, and you can just add the item into your cart and pay outright. Be careful, though. Always check your sellers and their feedback. You may not always have a choice given how rare some items are, but just be careful and be aware that it is eBay. You sometimes might have to contact the seller or eBay support if that doesn't work, if something is amiss or the item is taking too long to be shipped. In my case, I purchased a number of mine from eBay, specifically my Arkuma plushies and my Lilithim plushies, and they all came from the same guy, uh, Hi Dozo, a very good dude. He's very sweet, sent a bunch of um, extra stuff to me. That was very nice. I put pictures of it on Twitter, and I'll put that in the description as well. But yeah, just be careful. eBay has a reputation sometimes. In my case, I got plushies from every single one of these sites. Specifically, this one, my yellow rappy, is from Rakuten. These two down here, my big 40 centimeter chonk rappy and my love rappy, are from Mercari. The two Arkuma plushies and the little pin are from eBay. So you can be, you can have success at all of these sites. You might even be able to find something on AliExpress. I think I saw a sleeping rappy over there at one point. Just be careful. Like I mentioned, you just have to be fairly studious and actually put yourself to these things and make sure you're using the best method possible. If you're going from Rakuten and Mercari, I do recommend using a middleman. They're just really that good at it. As I mentioned, if you do not see any when you first check, just keep looking, maybe on a weekly basis. There have been several new sales in the last two months or so. I got a few of them here. Uh, I've been pointing them out for people who've been asking as well so that they could pick some up. Much like a fixing, it all seems rather intimidating at first, I know, but it really isn't that crazy. You might have to save up a bit. You definitely have to wait for an opportunity. Wait a second. <laughs> Jeez, wait, this really is like a fixing. Jeez, you're saving up resources and you're waiting for boost week, huh? Uh, anyways, it's a lot easier once you have all that in order and it's relatively painless. I do recommend using the middleman method in most cases with any native JP site, but if you think you can do better or you'd like to use a different service in general, this should still help you. And I really hope it does. 
say, if you don't happen to end up with one of the lucky seven in any of the prize pools from the PSO2 merch giveaway, you could potentially go and hunt down some of these items with this method as well. As I showed you before, those Lilipin, Arkuma, and Rappy pouches that were being in one of the prize pools, they were on eBay. They're very easy to find. Some of this stuff is from old old giveaways back in JP for different things like that. So you could absolutely go and pick some of, their, some of the stuff up there if you don't happen to win it. There's always a chance. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I'm sorry it took such a long time coming, but I hope it manages to help you if you've been looking for any of these desirable items. If you're interested in more guides, tips, and news for Fantasy Star Online 2 going forward, give me a like on this video and subscribe. It'd be the world to me. And if you'd like to catch me live, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning, and every second Saturday night at twitch.tv slash silly games. That's everything, guys. You're all wonderful. This is Silhouette, and I'm signing off. Arxops, may you get all the rare drops.